Hi there. I wanted to show you ladies a different way to remove your color street nail strips. Um, I know this time of the year our nails get so dry so if you're using the different style that I showed you where you dip your hands into the solution sometimes that can make our hands really dry and then it's also sometimes it gets the glitter on your fingers on your skin so wanted to show you a different technique um, both ways are great but this one just takes a little bit longer maybe I don't know five minutes tops but um, what you'll need to do this way is you'll need to have some cotton pads these are just um, kind of rectangle but they also come in I think like more of a circular. I would use these versus um, cotton balls because cotton balls are probably going to fall apart a little bit easier. Um, so make sure that they are more of a cotton pad or you can also buy these. Um, they're almost like a square pad that's a little bit more compact. These actually, I have tons of these. These actually came with the little um, clips that I'm also recommending that you use with this technique. So these little clips, I think I got them at um, either a drugstore, Walmart, Target, Amazon. You can order these. They all they usually come in a universal size, but they even sell them for toes too. So if you have a hard time removing polish from your toes, you can buy like a five pack or a ten pack. Um, the toes I think are a little bit bigger for you know for your pedicures if you want to remove those I have not tried that yet, but I may do that um, this summer So anyways, these are just little clips. I think they cost like a dollar for five. They're so cheap So anyways, I'm going to show you how to do these um, With these two different separate ta um, pads I'm going to try it first with the cotton pad and what I recommend is don't use the whole thing for one fingernail cut it in half and what I do is I cut it kind of in a triangle especially with the circular ones so just cut it with a pair of scissors in, in triangle size and then I also recommend still using mineral fusion because it is non acetone and it will not dry out your cuticles or your nails so I just take the polish remover and your cuticle pad and then just Make sure it's wet enough to soak all the way through. And then I'm just going to wrap it around my nail. Take the little clip, clip it on there and kind of press down so I know it's laying right on top of my fingernail. And then I'm going to let that sit on there for about at least a minute or so. But I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of them so that way the whole hand can sit at one time. The next one I'm going to try this thinner pad and see if this works any better. But I am just going to do it one layer. So I'm going to get it wet and it takes a lot less. Takes, oops, don't knock over your polish remover. <laughs> takes a lot, uh, takes a less polish on their remover too. So, and you can see it right away working on the polish remover on the, on the set. So I'm going to put that on there. And I do, by the way, have on glitters. So this is going to help not get those glitters on my fingernails. I mean, on my, around my nail, nail beds or my skin. And I, all I did was just wrap the cotton pad around my fingernail, put the clip on, and they're on there. Let's try this cotton pad again. Just a little bit. And I'm doing this on a wood table, so I always recommend putting a, like a towel or... Um, like a kitchen towel or a washcloth on there because definitely don't even if it's non acetone I don't I don't want to risk getting any kind of chemical on my table it's gonna get a little harder but that's why I only do one hand at a time some women are really good and they can do both hands but make sure it's on that fingernail clip it down and then press down on the actual fingernail to make sure that it's soaking off that polish and then I have one more. I've already done my thun thumbnail, so I'm just going to do four. And I'm going to try this thinner pad next time. And again, you just, whoop, those are so thin. It's going to be interesting to see which ones work better, the thinner ones or the thicker ones. And I'm starting to look kind of like an octopus. I'm going to take that. 
clip it on and push it down a little bit. And now I'm going to kind of back up a little bit. So now you can see I have all five on. And then while they're sitting on there, I'm just going to kind of squish them a little bit, make sure they're on there good. I can see through them, at least the ones with the thin pads, that it is soaking through that polish. And I would give it at least a minute or two. And I, that's why I like to do just one hand, like maybe this hand, worst case, I could be looking at my phone, going through some texts or emails. Multitask, that's what we always like to do, ladies. And I can definitely see that one's pulling it up. So let's just see how this one's doing. And remember this one, I did that more thicker pad. Let's see how it's doing. I'm going to get it a little closer. So I see it's pulled up some. And this is that one in four glitter. Yeah, it's definitely got it up. And then if you see it's coming up, you can just take what's left on the pad, the solution, and wipe it off. Or we could have just left it on there a little longer. But let's see if this will get it all off. Looking pretty good. I just, I don't want it on my skin. So that did pretty good. I think what I'll do is I will go back and go around the edges. And sometimes it's even good to go around the edges with a Q-tip. After You could dip the Q-tip in the Mineral Fusion. I don't have one with me right now, but I think I may go back and do that. So curious now, let's see how this one does. This is with the thinner pad. And you can definitely see that it's so good, soaked through it. And this was with Holidays, which is a little bit thicker, Oop. a little bit thicker glitter. Definitely pulled it up, but I am going to have to wipe it a little bit. Yeah, I think a word of advice is keep it on there at least two to three minutes. And like I said, this is just a different way of getting it off. The other technique I still recommend as far as putting it in the warm solution and then putting a bag in the solution. But I know sometimes that can get the glitter all over your skin and then can sometimes dry out your skin this time of the year. And now I'm transferring my glitter a little bit on my hand. <laughs> so, work in progress here. All right, so let's try this one. Okay, see so that one did not come off as well. And what's interesting is you can see, you're starting to see the layers of it too. So that one I am actually going to put on the other side of the pad and flip it over and leave it. Because you don't want to be tempted to scrape off the nail set because that will only damage your nail bed. This one looks like it's got it off. And then I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take some more mineral fusion and go back over the ones that it did come off and get just those little bitty pieces that didn't come off and on my skin but it mineral fusion i tell you is is the bomb i mean it is so much better than regular nail polish remover even acetone my hands do not feel dry afterwards i still always put tons of lotion on afterwards and cuticle oil but it, they do not dry them out and it smells good i mean i don't feel like it has that chemical smell that you have when you usually take your fingernail polish off. And this little stubborn guy, I may just have to wipe off. It's so funny how it does that sometimes. So I'm gonna keep working on this one, but again, I think this is a, a good backup technique. And again, if your skin on your hand is, is starting to get too dry using the other, other way, try it this way with the clips. Um, and I am going to start giving away some of these clips as one of my prizes on my monthly drawings. So 
if you want to wait till then just keep posting nail fees and answering games and comment commenting on the VIP group and making order placing orders and that gets you more and more chances all right ladies so I'm just gonna keep working on that one a little bit but otherwise I am ready to put on my next set excited to show you guys what I have in mind have a good day